If you like collecting animals in Conan Exiles, today's guide is for you. Whether you just want to build yourself a zoo, use them as easy and cheap base defense for purges, and all getting raided but now also purges, maybe you just want to get around a little bit quicker with some of the cool mounts. We've got a little bit for everyone. Starting off with where to find some of the more common baby animal spawns. Hyenas, super annoying when you are low level and naked, but very prevalent everywhere on the Noob River. You can find spawns left, right, and center. I'm not going to show you all of them. There are too many. Pretty much any spawn of an adult hyena can actually be a random chance of being a one skull and or a baby hyena. Take a few here and there. But you are very likely to come across a whole horde of them. Once you collect one, the rest will run. I'm in god mode so these guys aren't attacking me. But if they were to attack me and I attack them back, the babies will also run. That's the same for every single baby animal unless you are purchasing them. And one other exception. Just over the cliff we've got even more baby hyenas. So you can get yourself up a whole army really quickly with these guys and it's pretty easy to get them a greater one because you've got a lot of chance. For the most part you only do want to mess with greater animals. It's much more beneficial for you and your efforts. If you're leveling them up they're going to get much better HP but we'll go into that a little bit later. If you so happen to be looking for gazelle babies you can find a lot of them in desert, savanna and or river areas. So around here all up near Sepumaru and around all these rivers areas you'll find a bunch of babies just wandering about. They produce compost when in the animal pen so if you want a lot of compost you can get them. Kind of cute. Put them in your zoo then you just tame them with grass and yeah. Where's the baby? There's the baby. <laughs> now I know you've seen these little guys around. They're everywhere and again it's quite easy to tame up a whole bunch and get yourself some graders like this one skull. They're good to kill if you see them because they'll give you lots of demon blood but and other random goodies. But um these guys are everywhere and this particular spot in Noob Beach, known as Turtle Beach, locally has a butt ton of them so you can get up a decent little army you'll often find a noob shack here on multiplayer servers with just all of all of the shale backs again you do want to focus mostly on getting graders as the lower level ones have a lot less health but the tame ones are a little different to these you can look out for them in water-like locations up around sepo maro's little, little lakes and stuff as well there's a bunch of them and in a few other places about but they're they're pretty easy to find Again, crocodiles mostly found around water-like locations. You can find a lot of them everywhere along New Beach predominantly and they have the chance to be a baby or a greater also, some more commonly than others. I don't know exact stats. There's probably someone out there who does. But you run around and you can tend to find a lot of babies. There are some kind of guaranteed spawns along here or more common spawns. But we got ourselves a couple of babies right here. You'll tend to find some here pretty much every time. There's a couple other spots along the river like this but you can come here and get up a few because you unless you're creating a zoo why do you really need a whole bunch? I don't know. On the theme of lizards if you'd like yourself some Komodos they are pretty cool looking and they go well in a zoo. Not sure about their base defensiveness but you can find the babies here and a couple other spots as well but, but predominantly at this location. Also find a one skull thrall over there. You can tame her. Not really worth it though these days. They've fixed the whole multiplier thing. That other baby booked it but you can get a couple here and in fact I think all of them can spawn as babies. Also a great source of ichor, the adults, if you hack them up with a pick. Another spot you may find them wandering around and a whole bunch of the gross abyssal rhinos is by the dragon's claw little rivers. I can't see any babies right now but they do get about all around here and try not to fly into the green wall at speed. The salamanders are way rarer to get yourself a baby. There's got a fair few spawns of them mostly in the jungle and swamp like areas like on this slithering island or whatever this guy is called here. There's a whole bunch of one skull snakes about. They'll start spitting poison at you but they can also be a baby. Across the river in the Bay of Hulks just here you can also find a bunch of them wandering around and occasionally a baby. They go up into the swamp a little bit. You also find a bunch of gorillas to fight and a couple of gold and silver boxes around while you're hunting them. It is quite rare to find them as babies. You'll also find a whole lot over here 
and just around the rivers every now and then and you're probably better off running up and down here trying to find the babies i've seen them more often snakes are one of the newer additions to being able to be pet if you're looking for their spawn there will be a pile of eggs like this that you click e on you'll find the snake eggs you'll have to wait for them to hatch or put them in your compost bin we'll get into that later generally around temples and stuff like that you'll find them this place pretty consistent there's a pretty easy clutch to catch right near Mariel's Hope. Navel them up right underneath the Altar of Chaos Mouth. You'll find another little bunch. Mitra's Serenity. Not only a good place to come find Mitra Archpriest and Zath Archpriests, but just behind the location you'll also find another little clutch of eggs. Back over by the den and the guy who teaches you the Jebel Sarg religion dungeon place, you'll find hidden amongst the ruins yet another pile of eggs. Near the Brimstone, Obelisk and the Khalil's Stronghold will make a dungeon. Instead of going inside, jump off the cliff and find yourself some more eggs. This one was in fact the first pile I ever found because I often live on the green wall around here just as a starting base and I was like, ooh, make eggs. Hello. Near the West Wall prison in Sepimero. Over on the other side of Sepimero, you may never find this one unless you are scouting for something along the green wall because it's quite hidden but you find the big eye and just go to the right. For the best chance of a grade A, you want to feed them perfected cuts of meat shade spice variety for a 30% chance. If you can't be bothered messing around with shade spice, fair enough. Exquisite meat gives you a 20% chance anyway so compared to shade spice and the effort that takes, I'll take the 0% effort one for the 10% chance less for sure. But pretty much any old meaty variant will do if you're just running your luck. There are definitely more out there that I just haven't found. I'm pretty sure there's one in the unnamed city or thereabouts. I can't quite remember. They're just the ones I can remember. So hopefully they help a bit though. While you're in this neighborhood, you might as well pick up some rhino babies. There's a fair few spawns of them and you can ride them as a mount. They have decent inventory. If you turn them in a into a Tyrrhenian rhino with the DLC of whatever the Terranium one is called, but unfortunately they have barely any health with that variety. But in places like over here at Rhino Horn Ridge, up above the Crown Grove, any of these guys can generally be baby rhinos and there's some actual daddy spawns. Over by the Oasis of Muriel's Hope again, there's usually a bunch of baby rhinos around. And finally, over by the new Siege of El Mariah spawning in behind me in near this savannah -y area, you'll find a whole lot by a watering hole generally. And while you're in this area, it's pretty easy to find a whole lot of elephant babies. This is the only spot where you generally find elephant babies in this area. They're all along this place though. Probably some more over here somewhere. Find baby cats over here also, but that's for a minute away. Do a random siege while you're at it. Just above the Yog Teacher at Shaman's Rise, you will find a whole bunch of feathery friend ostriches. I don't think I've ever actually tamed an ostrich to be fair, but you can find them here. There's also a place you can find them over near the summoning place. There's generally some running around in this little area. It's probably where you would have seen them before if you have had seen them before. They're a bit rarer over here compared to that other little mount. If you're after something a smidge more deadly, maybe cats are up your alley. There's a fair few different types of cats and definitely some more worthy than others like saber tooth cats for sure. But if you just are building a zoo or want to catch them all, over by Sepimero at the Oasis of Neket, you can find these little jaguar cubs pretty much all the time unless you're on a multi play a server and then you can guarantee someone's built here and blocked the spawn. That's always fun. There's a couple of other little spawns of them roaming around and these guys can sometimes be one skulls also. If you're looking for panthers, look no further than the jungle. Places like the Watcher of the Passage have a lot of cat spawns and you can generally find a fair few babies bunting about. None today. But we do have one at Dragon's Eye over by the Obelisk. Boop. There really are just spawns all over the jungle. Here we'll find another baby. You can find more cats and potential baby spawns near this little oasis -y bit. The Messenger's Respite. If you would like some tigers, they're a little bit of a better cat variant to get. Back over in the savannah, you can pretty much always find three baby tigers here. A bit of a better variant of a cat. Um, they just poofed away. I'm not sure if the raid now makes them leave. If that's a thing, well, rib, 
I think it does. <laughs> wow. Funcom. Well, these baby, these guys can be babies too, and they're pretty easy to find about. Look, there's one. We'll take him. Okay. <laughs> oh. If you're after some lions, though, you don't really ever find them over here, but I do believe there is a chance to find one somewhere, but I might be tripping. Generally, you want to head over here, up this little hill. You will find um, two or three guaranteed two spawns of tigers lion yeah that one and sometimes down here a bit further there'll either be a tiger or a lion and some cubs and for some reason whenever i go to film this it's always a tiger whenever i'm running around on pvp it's always the lion and its babies so that's handy it's a tiger right now but somewhere around here there is a chance if you're looking for a companion in PvP, look no further than Saber Cats. Probably one of the best animals you can use to help you fight stuff and people. They're a medium difficulty to get. They've got a couple of dedicated spawns. One of those happens to be in the Jebel Sarg dungeon, which makes it a little bit more of a bitch to come by. But you can come down here and catch these ones all the time chilling with their mama this is a little bit frosty to get to another great place to look is over at the frozen slopes any of these guys can also be little kittens we're getting ourselves up quite a horde. You will also find a couple on the road up towards Ymir, Teacher, and Skyfall Ridge and the Frozen Slopes in general. I generally don't like going this way just because of the amount of Saber Cats that will gank you, but they can also be kittens. Would you like bears? Bears are good because they're big, they're easy to get the graders, they take honey to tame, no need to mess around with Shade Spice, and there's a lot of spawns, and specifically right here. You can find a few other ones around the place like on the back side of where the crevice cave is located you'll often find these guys being babies or having some babies around the last spot you're going to probably be looking for bears is over at tilius island there are a few babies over here a nice flower circle in Ms. cradle in fact pick up the babies you can go up here and find yourself some other weird lore shit and a whole bunch of yellow lotus keeping on the theme of the north wolves are pretty good because they have sunder and it's easy to get their babies as there are so many spawns this cave in particular generally has this white puppy right at the end of god's claw passage generally any wolf spawn you find can have a chance of being a baby around new asgard there's a heap of them you'll often find babies here look out for their little wolf dens if you fly around long enough you'll find this thing sometimes it's infinite blood crystal rock noses dropping from the sky sometimes it's a weird ghost lady sometimes it's some other weird glitchy shit don't know why i thought i'd chuck that in there <laughs> but also around this aqueduct in the north you'll find a but ton of wolves getting about there's a couple of other dedicated spawns you'll find them there are a couple of specialty merchants you'll have to visit if you want to acquire yourself things like the shoe bills the spiders the rock noses the camels sand reapers if you grab yourself some gold and head over to flotsam at buccaneer bay You'll find the first lot of our specialty merchants. Never mind, there's an event going on, but you can find also this event here where you destruct the pillars and then kill the guy in the middle and get some stuff. But for now, I'll talk about the merchant up top here. You can buy sand reaper eggs off this guy, but there is another better way to acquire them within a dungeon that I'll go into in a little bit when we're talking about the rare dungeon spawns and rare spawns in general. That's located just on this platform. I generally climb up just here if I'm going to visit at this guy or any of these guys because it's easy to run along here and these different sails until you get to over here but you have shamala you can learn strategy and alchemy this so buy a sword for some pearls and you can also speak to this merchant here and buy yourself some thralls and a shield <laughs> seeing as i have to clear the event to get the merchants to come back i'll show you guys killing him makes all of that leave eventually these guys will spawn back in you can get some free stuff it is all damaged though nothing fantastic for harvesting them but i didn't use a cleaver either these dudes have some pretty decent loot on them though wild digression okay now everyone's back <laughs> 
Sometimes these guys will fight because there's a random aggressive dude here, but usually they're not. You can buy spider egg sacks at that guy. It's like these guys start in trouble. This dude, though, has a 100% chance of dropping an underwater breathing mask. Any of the animal tamers do now, not just set on Tamos. If you didn't know, now you know random tips for learning where to get pets. You can find shoebill eggs at this dude, and you can also go up here and purchase some more thralls off Old Love. This guy's usually one of the instigators of making everyone kind of fight each other so we won't. It's not as peaceful here as it once was. But it is not the only place where merchants reside. You can also find them at the den. Up on a little platform you'll find Shauna the Strange rocking some rock nose eggs for 10 gold. Pretty decent if you get them graders. You can also use them for farming different variants of gold. If you do happen to get a gold rock nose you're probably better off to place it and hack it up and hope to get some gold rock from it. And if you hop on over to this side over here you'll find and our beloved camel merchant. Camels are pretty cool off the bat. They've got a bunch of health. This one I think is already, he's got no levels and he's got 4,000 health. They tend to have a bunch of inventory and you can ride them, which is excellent. We love that addition. Camels are one of my favorite animals in real life, so that's fun. And you can tame them in a regular animal pen. You don't need a stable for them. And that means you can tame multiple at a time, which is also really cool. I think horses are probably going to start becoming obsolete. Although I don't think you can use every weapon type on this guy that you can on the horse. So there may be that. If you come on down to H3, we'll find a little cave called Hanuman's Grotto. Full of crystals, a dude you can fight and potentially get some silent legion armor off. If you come with your pocket full of hearts, you get a chance to get a bunch of different monkeys. Probably going to get a bunch of potions, but we do have the option. <laughs> it's a gamble. A decent way to get some early XP in here. Also, the crystals is nice XP. It's kind of slow when you're on the higher end of the levels, but then just go mine some brimstone or lotuses, really. Can't be bothered going up north to the black ice or the obsidian. So right at the end, you'll find old mate. He has a chance of dropping some silent legion, like I said, and a staff of Hanuman and a wither heart. If you talk to this box here, we may get some boons of some variety. It does do it in bulk lots, so if you happen to have four King Scarge hearts and ten Nordheimer hearts, if I talk to the box, we'll see it takes it in random little chunks. Different hearts you can bring here include hearts of the hero, hearts of the Nordheimer, King Scarge hearts, human hearts, withered hearts that you acquire here, and also hearts of the Scarge stone, which you use for making the keystone that you remove your bracelet. But I'm definitely feeling like they upped those odds compared to last time I checked. Eating a Hanuman's potion is going to give you variable effects. This time I got carry weight, now I got strength. You can roll the chances with what you want for a buff. If you've stuck around this long or even if you've skipped to this section, if you didn't know, now you know. In the new Asgard area, you can come and get a legendary reliable butcher cleaver. But the reason why you're here in new Asgard is to find old love, Lagalada, daughter of Ymir. Conveniently here, but not always here. If you kill her, you have now, a, I'm pretty sure, 100% chance of getting the horn, but she's not 100% chance of being here. And the facts could be inaccurate and you might get less. You generally get a heart of a Nordheimer, which you can then use to trade in for your yetis or gorillas, whatever, and a weapon and or some type of armor she's wearing. Placing this guy out is going to give you a pretty cool looking frost giant bodyguard. If I admin control level him up, he gets pretty decent HP now and stats aren't horrible, you can re-roll him with potions of rebirth from sorcery also, but definitely more worthy than what they used to be. Back to those sand reapers I was mentioning earlier, if you don't want to spend your gold on them, you can head on down to the Dagon dungeon by touching this butt located just here. I do have a couple of separate Dagon dungeon guides, um, an old one with all the bosses and a couple of ones with loot and stuff as well. If you come on down to, I do believe, this cave right here, there's a black noxious gas cloud. Don't swim through that. You may need that underwater breathing mask that you acquired from the animal tamer earlier over in Flutsam. Click on that. And then all these dudes spawn in here, you can in fact pick up and there'll be locust spawns. You can also hack them up for a source of Ica, but it's nice to hack 
to pick them up for free locus. You can learn a recipe in here, deep sea fisher, and catch yourself some fancy buff fish. But usually you just come and wait for the infinite spawns of these dudes. These guys are excellent base defense. I'm pretty sure it's like human flesh to get the greater variant. And they spit huge amounts of poison at enemies. Can stack up really quickly. They're a great little turret. I have a whole other separate guide on the abandoned silver mine as well. But if you head to the very end and hack up the queen, you can have a great chance of getting a whole bunch of baby scorpions. They only take demon blood to tame to a greater. So they're even better because you probably have a plethora of demon blood bloody everywhere. They're really good at knocking stuff down and off things as a base defense. And you can come here and get yourself some silver as well and some reaper poison. I advise though when hacking her up, probably have careful harvest on as you're more likely to get the rare resource. Although if it does proc with efficient harvest, you get just so many of both poison and reaper babies. Sometimes you get none, scorpion babies rather. And if you do fancy running dungeons for your baby spawns, the Jebel Sag dungeon is an excellent source of babies. Great source of hides if you happen to be doing some raiding and you need it and you need a whole bunch of tar. Come here and talk to either this guy with some feral flesh. You can no longer craft the midnight potion from your base so you need to bring the resources here and or like I said talk to him with the feral flesh. You'd probably just do that. There's generally a scorpion around that you can kill and hack up and you'll get that feral flesh if you don't happen to have it on you already. That was terrible luck. That guy gave me everything but feral flesh. But there's also a lot of snakes, so you can kill one of them and they'll do the trick also. And you might get some violet cure-all glands in there. Boop. Okay, now... These potions do expire pretty quickly, so you want to use it sooner than later. Drinking this water is going to teleport you to Sepimeru. Don't do that right now. But you can start running the dungeon down this way. I do have separate guides on this whole dungeon also and where to find all the good stuff. Although I do need to do an updated guide on this dungeon as they have a whole lot of new boxes and things in here. My current guide that's out will show you where all the pets are and how to get hides good in here. But you can get some pretty awesome stuff. I don't even think I mentioned where to get pig babies at all. I was like, you don't even care about them. So I'll chuck them in in a minute in case you do want them for your zoo. But we've got a lot of different options of different babies in here, not just pigs. You get some wolves, you get some cats, great source of saber cats in here, some bears. I think I said wolves. Can't go in there because I gotta fight that dude. But you get the point. Come in here and pick up a whole bunch of hides and babies. Pigs are pretty much everywhere in the north. You can find their baby variants about where the adults spawn generally and um you can find one skull usually around here but my animals keep killing them i wanted to do a purge but it told me there wasn't enough free space for um the purge camp to spawn around here so okay whatever but yeah lots of baby pigs can be found everywhere but there is a good guaranteed spawn by the crevice cave here a little bit up from the river a bit before the entrance to the cave itself you'll find a whole bunch of babies unguarded by any mother or debakey in the world maybe greater pigs are going to be the next op pet who knows let's put them in here if you've seen the mammoths around and think they look pretty cool lucky for you you can in fact actually get them they're just a greater variant of elephant so go back over to the savannah and pick yourself up a whole bunch of baby elephants around swagger rock feed them some goodies and get that guy now you gathered up all your different babies what do you tame them in generally you want to build the better one it is a little bit more expensive but it is a lot stronger with hp and all of that especially on p PvP it's gonna last or even if it's around your purge area. You pop your baby inside with whatever makes it go mmm something like that will do. If you happen to have snake eggs or some other type of egg that you've purchased you can either keep it in your pocket for the 24 hours or you can build yourself a compost heap, pop the guy in there and you can see it has gone down to an hour. Much more efficient but do be careful if you leave the area and get distracted if you have ADHD there is a solid chance they will hatch and die. So just stick around while you're doing this for sure. And there used to be a bug where if you left the area, the compost bin timer would speed up. So we never know when they'll re-break the game. Just keep that in mind. If you don't feel like hatching them right now or taming them and you don't feel like that's enough tame time before they'll die. If you don't have enough to build yourself a fridge or any access to ice, you can build a feed box. Certain ones like the Yeti protectors don't have a timer on them and come out already tame also. So that's fun. No tame times required. But as you can see, it's a lot 
longer of a tame time instead of 24 hours. Putting them in the fridge is going to give you an infinite tame time. An infinite tame time? What am I trying to say here? Being in the world time? I don't know. Words. It's so hot here in Australia right now. I can't think properly. But you get all the time in the world if you pop them in the fridge with some ice. If you want to make yourself some shade spice, you're going to head back into that Jebel Sag dungeon and fight those bosses again and gather up those little flowers here called shade bloom. Then in an improved stove, you can add different variants of stuff. You can use a regular stove too. It doesn't make it any cheaper in an improved stove. FYI, it's a little bit quicker and has more inventory space. But if you don't have the resources for an improved stove, just use a regular one. And say for perfected cuts of meat that we want for the snake, we add in 15 exquisite meat and the shade bloom. If you pop a cook in there, it's going to go a bunch quicker. To tame them, you do only need one piece. So I can pop that out and put in some human flesh and these guys will numb that up. If you would wish to not consume the rest of that stuff, take it out as shade bloom's a little rarer. Once they're tamed, they'll start producing compost in there, which you can use for your compost bin for making all different types of lotus growth and whatnot. If you happen to have some skins available to you, either from the battle pass or some DLCs or the different ones they have for sale in the bazaar, you can apply them in your inventory before you place the animal. If you have placed the animal without mods, you can't pick it up again and place the skin on it. So you definitely want to place the skin on it before placing it. Certain ones have better skins than others. The killer gray rhino skin, excellent skin, keeps a rhino being normal. You can still ride it. Rhinos are default rideable. If you happen to put a Tyrrhenian skin on it though, it is no longer rideable and then has 555 health instead. Way less good. With an example that you can see here, you also want to try to avoid white and black rhinos when it comes to rhinos and aim for your regular rhino and or a greater rhino for just the general armor. Don't know where my greater rhino is gone to show you, but here's the Tyrrhenian caravan rhino, as you can see. Not very great, can't ride him, but does have more inventory slots. At that point, just get a camel though. So certain animals you don't want to go for the greater variant of, but that's fewer than most. Generally, I think it's just like the rhino. A lot of the skins from the Battle Pass and the Bazaar do require things like the cats and the wolves and the hyenas. A lot of hyenas are required, so it's kind of good to know where to get them now. Also, horses. I didn't even show you where to get them. I should show you where to get them. If you place a skin on a silver vein rock nose, for instance, you can't then place it back in your stable to produce its resource because certain animals are best just kept in here. If you keep locusts and spiders in here, they'll produce ichor. If you keep the gold and silver rock noses in here, they'll produce metal and gold and silver ore. There's a couple of different examples, but those are predominantly the ones that people keep in here. Gazelles tend to produce a lot of manure, so they're a good way to get that up quickly also and they just eat grass. There is a little variant of the animal pens now. You can only tame one at a time, but it is much smaller and easier to place. And there's also a stable. If for some reason you do happen to still be after horses after learning about camels and you want to use them for fighting or whatever. So you can find a bunch over here. There's somewhere else in the desert, but I never remember where it is. Let me know in the comments if you remember where it is. But you can also come up to the northern aqueduct while you're finding wolf babies and gazelle babies. Horse babies look a lot like gazelle babies. And in summary, you want to have yourself the best type of animal pen for the best type of outcome for getting graders, I'm pretty sure as well, but also a lot of HP on them. Less likely to get disturbed. Having a compost bin for hatching animals. If you're poor and don't already have animals placed, you can use the feed box as just a preservation bin. But once you have animals, they'll eat the food out of there. So just keep your baby animals in there. If you are a little richer and have a regular fridge, put some ice in there. Keep your animals forever. If you're after a greater percentage chance of finding these guys the wiki is pretty decent for all of those stats on particular animals you can come over here to the Jebel Sag dungeon and go do that and hack up the bosses in there for that shade spice saber cats are an excellent option for a follower if you are going to use them at all so you definitely want to try them out although they're always nerfing and changing stuff and there may be a new op one soon i don't often use followers at all let me know in the comments when and if that does change or if there's one that you just prefer to 
use a little bit more. Don't bother with horses, just come and buy yourself a camel baby or even ride a rhino because they attack, which is nice too. I don't know if I mentioned that, but you can also use them for fighting stuff and have another thing follow you at the same time. That's cool. And if you want locust babies, definitely don't buy them. Check out the Sunken City dungeon instead. It's much better. Save that gold for better things like camel babies. More than most likely, I've forgotten a bunch of stuff as I love to do. There's so much stuff in this game. It is easy to get overwhelmed and forget a few things even for myself. That is why I make these guides to help as best I can. And if you did find this information informative, smash that like button. If you're not already, consider subscribing. Until next time, I hope you have an excellent day, evening, night, morning, whatever it may be, wherever you may be. Have a good one.